Suppose the inspiration for the work is the space itself. It's got this really lovely relationship to inside and outside, and that's how I think people feel when they come in here. You kind of feel more like you're part of the place. We walked in and we went, ah, wow, it's just big. At the moment, it just feels like it's got huge potential. We've installed some brightly coloured shipping containers here and we've seen these as, as story boxes where you can explore different chapters and themes in the history of this area. We were just really struck by the different layers of history that have shaped the landscape here. Childhood and the connection to community, work, the idea of letter writing to communicate across vast distances when there was no internet and no telephone and also conversations of people who found this area important to their lives. It goes from being something that's very personal, like a personal exploration, into something that's no longer ours. Now the public are interacting with it and they're taking it where they're going to take it. I was really keen to make a work that didn't condescend to kids, but rather celebrated kids. The idea behind the chalkboard was really that idea of artworks that have a conversation. And these chalkboards just literally ask you to ask the future for something. Kids are writing on it, adults are writing on it, and the responses are markedly different. It's an enormous location, so it not only makes it really unique worldwide, it's also just a great space that I think is really will just continuing to intimidate artists, which is perfect.